welcome back to the Southern Snack. We're live. It's too short to be serious. All right, we've got two new items from Hot Belly. The farmhouse chicken sandwich, which is absolutely loaded. Um, you know, I could sit here and describe this whole thing and tell you on and on what the ingredients are, and I will. But imagine like a Cobb salad from Chick-fil-A or any of these other places, like, you know, th those typical chicken salads. Now, there's no fried chicken. They don't use fried chicken here at Pot Belly. They have their roasted or baked or grilled chicken, whatever it is. The chicken's bland. I'm not going to lie. But it's got, you know, lettuce, cucumber, tomato, hard-boiled egg, buttermilk ranch, bacon. It's everything you get in, like, a Cobb salad. So imagine you went to Chick-fil-A and got a grilled chicken Cobb salad, and then you took a Pot Belly bun and put it, you know, got a sub bun and put it on a sandwich basically that's kind of what we got here that's the vibe we've got going so and this one oh smells so good the blueberry muffin cookie so there you go i know it, it was harder to get a good thumbnail sun's shining down but anyways let's try the farmhouse chicken sandwich Very refreshing, chilling temperature on the inside. They loaded it up really nicely. It's probably the most loaded pot belly sandwich I've had to date. That ranch tastes really good. Almost like a house-made ranch. It's only heavy on the uh, herbs, buttermilk. Very good ranch. Mmm. The bacon adds the right amount of seasoning. Did I mention there's tomatoes in here? I may have forgotten that. You know, I told you, it's like a Cobb salad. They also, if you don't want the bread, they offer it in the form of a salad, of course. They sell salads here, so they're not just selling it as a sandwich. Mm. I think avocado would be really interesting to put on the sandwich. I don't know if they sell avocado on a regular basis, but I think that would really take it another notch. But it's it's great the way it is. Mm. Oh, and there's cheddar cheese too. I did not know that. There were so many ingredients, as I said. Let's think about a Cobb salad. Cobb salad has cheese on it, so let's think about a Cobb salad. That's what you're going to get. If you like a Cobb salad, you might as well get this. It's very good. It's delicious. I'm going to give it a 10. Now, this cookie has some promise right here. Blueberry muffin. Oh, man. I mean, crystallized sugar. Blueberry pieces. You know I'm excited. So I hope you're excited, too. Let's try it out. Hmm. really does taste like a blueberry muffin. Maybe more on the side of like a processed blueberry muffin. But it's pretty good. I just took a bite without the blueberry. And I still think I can taste blueberry kind of throughout the cookie. Mm. It's not bad. I give it a solid 8. It's very solid. So, 8 out of 10 for the cookie. 10 out of 10 for the sandwich. Good job, Pop Belly. Good job. Can't wait to see what's next. Seems like it's been a very busy year for Pop Belly. Um, as compared to usual. Um, you know, a lot of new items. So, Really fun, really cool, and of course, other than that, I'll and see so the right. fun continues. Pot Belly really just doesn't know how to keep a cookie or really a dessert on the menu long enough. They keep it there for a month and then it's gone. Like, come on, Pot Belly, what are you thinking? Uh, but hey, it's better than what they used to do. They didn't use 
couple of years ago, you never saw them do new items. So they really stepped it up. But um, they brought back the s'mores cookie, which I reviewed a couple of years ago. I gave it eight out of 10, pretty solid. Maybe not quite as good as like some other s'mores items, but pretty good. And they've got a toasted marshmallow shake, not a s'more shake, but a toasted marshmallow shake. So we're here to try it, tell you what we think. And again, this is in continuation of the part one of this with the blueberry muffin cookie that's gone for whatever reason and uh the farmhouse sandwich which is like a you know a cob salad on a on a bun so let's try this it's simple it's straightforward it's sweet think of like the vanilla shake but instead you got marshmallow flavor I don't know if any of you out there are crumble fans, but if you are and you like that marshmallow cookie from Crumble, the Lucky Charms one, I think you'll approve of this. I think I, I definitely prefer this over that because there's no cream cheese in this, right? So you you have a heavier marshmallow profile. Yeah, it's really good. But of course, you know I'm going to say it feels like something's missing, right? Because when I think about marshmallow, I'm thinking about chocolate. I'm thinking about graham crackers. I'm thinking about s'mores. So definitely would prefer s'mores, but they do a good job on what they're going for. This may be the first time I've had a marshmallow flavored shake. Interesting, right? Um, that's probably two shakes today two i think two or three food items today alone that i've had something that was just new to me completely new to me in the way it was presented so anyways good stuff fun review hopefully you enjoyed this video and i'll see y'all around